Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's car. Today I'm showing show you this 2007 Mazda Atenza wagon. Still a fan favorite. It's got uh, almost 93,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. But first, like this, please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. This Mazda Atenza wagon is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 19,000 yen, which is about $170 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, so we'll go ahead and take care of it for, uh, for you this year. You won't have to worry about it till next. Now you do have two options to pay for it. The first one being U.S. dollars cash outright, or which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to uh, put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. Most of our customers do about 500 to 1,000. Some do even more. Before I go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down uh, a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Before you go inside, the reason, another reason why these are so uh, popular, this uh, have slots for the roof rack. So if you want to put roof racks, if you're an outdoorsy type person, you could do that. And I'm battling a, a runny nose, so bear with me, okay? All right, so keyless is on you. So you just go ahead and crank that over. Now, the, if the battery dies in this, this actually comes out as a key, and you can take this uh, cover off and put it in like regular ignition. Okay. All right. Ninety-two thousand five eighty on the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights. That one off to the left. Obviously, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. The one to the right of that, that circle one, is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it's a hand brake. So when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight-ahead instrument cluster. Everything pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, off to the left here. I'm going to tell you what, what it is. It's just a hole. I don't know what the previous owner had there, uh, but it's something. And then whatever he took off here, he kind of um, ripped the dash a little bit. Okay. And then you have your little display here. It's going to show you the air conditioning uh, settings, radio, and the time. Oh, and this time's wrong. Uh, then you got your radio and air conditioning controls. Down here, you got an ashtray and lighter, or an out power outlet, I should say. Shifter, handbrake, as I told you about. The cup holders, and then you have the center console slash armrest with a little layer right here for maybe for some coins, and you can put coins here as well, and a little bit of a compartment for some extra storage. Continuing off to the left, you got your, um, see, he put something in here because he cut that as well. Okay, so I'm not sure what he had. He probably put a, a, a navigation or maybe a, a monitor there. But there's your glove box, and then you got a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out right there, and then this is the, let me, this is the legroom that I have. Just a lot of a lot of legroom here. So uh, for me to be, I could drive as is, but I would definitely uh, slide this up at least three more inches to be a little more comfortable driving. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers. As I feel a sneeze coming. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicles. Many dealers can't say that. We can. This is graded a 3.5 from the auction and a CNC for the exterior interior. So really good grading, okay? And we'll uh, keep that up, up here for you to look at uh, yourself on the sun visor on the driver's side. So I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. You do have your mirror controls right next to your window controls. A couple little um, uh, things here for uh, some coins. Please don't forget on the bottom here on the floor, you got your uh, gas cover release, a little, a little other coin pouch or whatnot. And then underneath that, you have your hood release, okay? So let's uh, turn this off. Let's go, go to the back seat. All right. There's a space back here. Jump on in. And I, I actually had this a little more reclined than this one, but with it all the way reclined like that, I'm a good uh, inch away from the back of the seat to my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage in the back of the driver's seat, but the passenger seat does have uh, pocket storage. As always, be careful. It doesn't have a lot of give, so uh, just be careful what you put in there so you don't uh, break that. And then you have uh, um, an ashtray down here, but nothing as far as uh, storage on the uh, door panels, but you do have this center console that will give you two cup holders. All right, let's go to the rear here. I'm fighting the sneeze. I, I know it's coming, but 
and there's all that space this is why these are so popular they got tons of space in these things uh, those seats will go forward and flat you can take this privacy shade out and or lay it down let's see if you want to do it so just right here the, you got this and it goes bye-bye look at all that impressive space I've actually had customers say you know the outdoorsy type that they actually, they've actually slept in something like this it's along the same lines as the legacy wagon as well the legacy wagon is uh, very similar to this and has tons of space all right so the engine 2.3 liter engine nice and clean all right and there you have it 2007 Mazda Atenza uh, wagon uh, what I say just under 93,000 kilometers on it uh, which is about 57,000 miles military price goes down to 4700 with an additional military discount we'll get it down to 4500 while you're here please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts um, many vehicles apply some don't ask if this one does and if it does we'll give you a lower price uh, but for now the 4500 is going to include a two-year JCI the one-year bumper to bumper warranty the 2022 road tax and a 10% sales tax are already included the only thing on top is going to be the American Insurance Department, whether you're going with liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. As always, we encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, but definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, and explain what our program is all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why. Um, don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.